What should we talk about next? New World. Let's do New World. All right, let's go. Let's All right. Have a chat. New World. New video game. New video game to play. So I'm playing New World. Really? Uh, you well. will find out a lot more about it next week. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yep. Very subtle. Very subtle, Michael. Wink, wink, nudge. I, ah, fuck subtlety, man. You're, oh, my God. Definitely a Northern Irish man. Yeah, we all need to be far more like Garth Marenghi uh, in all aspects of our life. Absolutely totally. not. Totally. Um, yes, okay, <laughs> new world. New world. All right, going to go through the dock and then talk I'm about to, opinions? I'm trying to think. Uh, I think opinions first. Let's do it when, right, they're, do it when they're fresh. The first thing I'll talk about is mm-hmm. fishing. Talk about fishing. The only thing he's done. <laughs> it's, not it's not just that. It's not just that. So, Fishing a New World is uh, the thing that I've been doing uh, mm. the last little bit. Uh, it's quite fun, actually. And I really stumbled upon fishing accidentally, because I don't normally fish in games. But what was happening is I was building some tools at the workbench, and uh, I see a fishing rod. I'm like, okay, cool. Little fishing rod. And then I'm like, oh, wait, shit. All those fishing baits I've been getting. Oh, okay, cool. So, then I start. I go fishing. So, I've just been mm. doing that. And it's been therapeutic. It's just been therapeutic. I, I don't know. Good. There's something about that MMO fishing, man. Fishing a new world. That's one thing I've been doing. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the other things I've been doing, though, is more just like kind of just getting used to the game flow, trying to level up crafting a little bit more, mm. trying to get used to crafting, trying to work out how the economy actually works, those sorts of things. What about you? Uh, I have just been... Um, how do I put this? I've been so afraid of gathering that I've been doing lots of combat instead and doing lots of quests because that's that gathering is terrifying it's so enjoyable it's so nice (laughs) like it's not incredible it's not the best thing of all time but it scratches the exact same itch as any time I open Terraria any time I open Minecraft any time I open Valheim Or back in the day when I was playing RuneScape and I was like, what am I going to do? I'm going to sit in this, in this little pit and I'm going to mine all day goddamn long. Why? Because I do the click, I get the stuff in my bag and a little number goes beep. Yep. And that's well, and well, okay. In New World it goes beep, round in the circle. And it's just, it's so terrifyingly enjoyable. Like outside if I think the, the sound of mining is a gunshot in a valley. Hmm. You can hear it from yeah. 47 miles away and it's really loud. But like in terms of just the the way you press buttons, the way different you know uh, nodes are set out from each other, it just all works where you find a group of nodes. So it's not like World of Warcraft where you're going around, you see a you know, you see a one thing on your main map and you go, oh, that's that. I guess I'll go back to what I was doing, or I'll run around before I find anything else. It's just everything is jammed together. So you usually don't find something in isolation. You'll find a load of boulders, you'll find a load of iron, or you'll find a load of mature trees. And you're just going, and I'm going to do my tedious work because it makes my numbers get bigger. And it is just satisfying. So avoiding all of that entirely for my own uh, safety and sanity because Hmm. there's so much uh, work to get done this week, I have instead largely been focusing on getting quests done and combat done. Yeah. And they're not very good. No, they are really not very good. I think that the quests are really, really simple and boring. Quests are definitely the worst bit of the game. When it's just like, go here, kill eight dudes. Go here, kill eight dudes. Go here, loot five chests. You go, you do that. You come back and it's the exact same thing in a different POI. You go, you do that. You go back to town. You do it again. Oh, it's all back in the first POI. Yep. And it is pretty mind numbing. Yeah, which is like... As a part of the game, if you view it all uh, like almost almost as it's all the same or uh, different boxes of gameplay, it feels like they've kind of ran with the same design principles that they did for gathering and for crafting, where they're like, is this really super involved? Is it really super engaging? No, it's about going to the right place and then just, you know, doing the simple thing. But you imagine in a game that's where the most effort's gone so it feels a bit rough by comparison when combat is really simple especially because obviously i'm not very high i haven't you know got into armine or any the of the other dungeons later yet i haven't really found anything super uh uh challenging in any mm-hmm. sense 
And I will say the when you get the great when I well, if you use a great axe and you have it leveled up enough, that's one of the weapons I felt really enjoyable so far. Everything else has been just weak, but the like combat is not very not very engaging. So quests aren't engaging because a lot of what you're doing for questing is walking is you know fast travel to the nearest point, walk for two hundred years to get to the quest zone, and then you uh, either kill things. Pick up chests, which are all like supply caches and supply crates, which are littered in the kind of, you know, you get a feel for where they are in an area, so yeah. you just kind of uh, go to them. Maybe sometimes you'll have to kill and then also skin animals, and then you'll have to pick up big, massive, glowy blue things. So the actual quest content is really quite weak, and the combat doesn't help that. But I'll talk about combat a little bit more in depth a little later, but I've still done a lot of it. And I think while the quality of it feels a little bit weak, it's like the kind of, and like the context for it's weak story-wise as well, but the questing's weak, but it does still scratch the same itch yeah. as the gathering does. It feels worse to do because it's a little bit more involved and the involvement isn't actually fun. You know, it's not like, oh, this, this doesn't add, it's actually, oh, I have, to, I have to go the whole way over there for fuck's sake, or, oh, I have to fight a load of dudes, this is going to be fun, I guess I'll just you know, because health regenerates are so high when you've eaten, you can just left click and not think about it. You can have a little bit more fun if you try to optimize damage, but you basically just, you know, your eyes glaze over. Totally, yeah. Anytime I've tried to... We may as well just talk about combat now. I yeah. Think. Like, anytime I've really tried to just get into it, I've, I've kind of got a bit bored yeah. where I just feel like I do just want to left click and even take a few hits. Like, You'll like I'll look like a total noob in my gameplay, but I don't really give oh, a shit. Same. Like, because um Well for me it's a few things. It's like the recovery time at the end of your swing sometimes feels a little high. Yeah. Uh, to actually get your block up. And then also, to be honest, I have been uh, like, you know, combat games I have played recently that involve <laughs> melee combat. It's like Sekiro. It is um you know, some of like the time stuff in Spider-Man. Uh, far more recently though. Ghost of uh, Tsushima, mm -hmm. which is very much a parry timing game. And that has totally fucked me up because yeah. I keep on, like, I am so used to hitting the block button in mm -hmm. time with the enemy swing to execute a parry. That's how I have been doing all of my action-based gameplay for months now. Mm -hmm. uh, so in this, where it's a lot slower and you're like, oh, this enemy is going to attack soon. I should really get my shield up. It feels kind of slow and sludgy, but I absolutely understand why it has to be that way because it is an MMORPG. Um, yeah, certainly the axe is a bit more fun. I'll mm. give it that. Once you level it up, for sure. Yeah, some of that comes down to abilities because abilities are usually quite boring overall. And I think in terms of like the, the depth there is in how you select your trees, which weapons you pick, all that stuff's fine. Yeah, I haven't really engaged with that too much because I'm just like, I'm going pure strength, great axe, job done. That, that will let me kill things the fastest, the most satisfying way, so I'm happy that way. But, like, because you will understand, like, it feels like they've learned a lot of lessons from a com from a decent combat game, but they held themselves back to be a sort of more simple, you know, uh, MMORPG that wouldn't be too uh, difficult for people to get into. Yeah. Very much in a Valheim way, where Valheim doesn't have intense combat. You can kind of get, you know, you can kind of get owned if, you're, if you really uh, make a mistake. But it feels super, super uh, like they've done the research and then decided not to use any of it. Yeah, it's it's kind of weird. Like what it does do, and maybe this is the bit where it wins. It's extremely, no, it's not like this later on. Hmm. Because, you know, later on, maybe you want to have a life staff so you can put down the healing AOE and then get in combat and you know, whatever. But for yeah. your just general world content, it's very low cognitive load, I've noticed. That's the and problem. Like that increases its, I think for a lot of people, its playability. I yeah. don't mean this as a oh easy game. I just mean you're just like you know, you're sort of more in a pose like like this, and you're like, uh, yeah. click, click 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 max mob click 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 click. It kind of does that, and that means that when you're in one of those big, I am playing the game for 15 hours straight. Yeah, which I mean isn't really how I play, but um, well, yeah, it's gonna be very just you know zoom your way through it. The same with like the basics and a lot of ARPGs is you know, pretty basic. Yeah, it's like, you know, if you're trying to critique combat from that angle, you know, there's a decent chance where I do have to stop myself and go, no, no, Matt, this game is trying to be what it's trying to be. 
stop trying to compare it to Devil May Cry 5 in your head, you dumbass. That's <laughs> yeah. not what they're trying to be. Like, what are you what are you doing? It's, you know, they've they've got all of those uh all of those problems of it being really low cognitive load. It being just really simple, really mash left click and you're okay. So I need to see what that's like in dungeon. But it's like it just feels so it just doesn't feel good. That's the weirdest part about it. And I hate ha not being able to qualify that. It really angers me not being able to qualify. But, and I fucking thought about it. Like, But it is just the way enemies attack just doesn't mesh with what I expect from the game. The sheer amount of recovery when you take hits is also like frustrating in a way that just doesn't... It just doesn't mesh very well. Where, especially if you look at a lot of modern action games even the ones that aren't Devil May Cry 5 tier in terms of depth, they go for the more, all right, so you're going to, you know, you can interrupt your attacks with a dodge because that's what feels good as a player, to be powerful, to be able to move things when you want to move them. Yeah. And they've went with the more, no, this is more akin to, we've sort of thought, what would an MMO hyper-simplified version of For Honor feel like? What would, you know, basically very fighting game inspired and obviously that's going to need to be the case if you're playing PvP, because you can't have overpowered bullshit on both sides or the game's a mess. So you have this really hyper-simplistic kind of, okay, I'll attack now. Oh, I, you know, I think that's actually one of the problems where enemies attack so fast in order to stop people from having, from, from being good at dodging and completely dodging everything, yeah. is that enemies feel really bullshit. Not in that they're hyper-difficult to understand, but it's a kind of thing of, you know, you left click and you're okay well i will commit to this attack because my enemy appears to be doing nothing and then you're en the enemy can go ah no i'm going to attack now and hit you before you've hit them or hit you during their hit yeah and it's a kind of thing where it just doesn't feel hyper strong in any specific way and i can see it'd be a bunch of frustrations from people whereas like the ideal way to play it is to play it a little bit more dark soulsy where you information gather learn what timings things have and how to get you know how to actually fight them properly and you know you learn every enemy you learn their attack patterns and then you stand at the ideal range and play it properly almost like you're playing a fighting game but that isn't what works for a lot of people and then you have the issue of it being a mmorpg it's online it's connected to the servers you add 40 milliseconds of lag to a game like that and it's only 40 milliseconds but you add 40 milliseconds on, you know, <laughs> you. You add 40 milliseconds on the other player who's hitting the enemy at the same time. And it just doesn't mesh. Like, it almost feels like they didn't design enemies playing it under expected lag conditions. Mm, like, they yeah. designed it on a local server with zero and then went, oh, shit. Um, <laughs> fuck, what do we do about this? It kind of feels that way. But it's a kind of... It's a hateful thing where I objectively play combat and go ah, 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 slightly frustrated a lot but it doesn't matter enough yeah because i'm just happy to click away and it's a thing where this the simple stuff works where you know you can cancel the recovery of an attack with an ability and i think that's one of the things people may know well, people who mash a lot might understand it or kind of get it but it's one of like the first things i tried i'm like oh okay i i see how i can actually do this i can you know I can one-shot a lot of enemies that I run into at the minute because I have a lot of strength and using a pretty good great axe by, you know, uh, heavy attack. Heavy attack, execute. That'll get most of them. Sometimes two light attacks, execute. But because execute is a skill and comes out <coughs> during the recovery of an attack, it is basically a, uh, you know, heavy attack is just a big swing. Big swing into an immediate big execute feels good. But yeah. Then when I'm out of abilities, I'm just just regular attacking and just regular blocking feels really, really quite grim. Yeah, pretty much. Um, but then it's one of those things, it doesn't feel mega important. Yeah. At least, yeah, so it it's this <laughs> game where, like, it's got so many elements that are, like, a 5 out of 10. Yeah. Or, you know, it's just average and really boring. Yeah. But they end up not massively mattering to the overall game. Yeah. Which is, I guess, a bit weird. <laughs>